hanging there. We have an obligation um, as, as followers of Jesus to participate um, in the life of the, the civil society. And EHF is a foundation that's, that's fairly new and young as foundations go, uh, based in Houston. Um, we believe all Texans deserve to live a healthy life, especially those that face the, the biggest barriers to good health. We have a slogan in the Physical Health Foundation, health, not just health care. We want people to have health, not just health care. In the even number of years, like this year, we're focused on getting out the vote. And so we used uh, the, the vote faithfully materials that come from the Office of Government Relations um, and added to it something that put a little bit of fun into the activity, uh, a voting challenge. Um, a lot of our work comes from what's happening on the grounds in the communities where our parishes are. Um, and we hear that and then try to connect people to their legislators, um, to nonprofit agencies that are doing that work in their communities and to make an impact that way. Um, and then to, to raise it up to the level of the General Assembly. Um, actions. And if we stay in our silos and just think about these as abstract political issues, um, we miss the impact that they really have day to day um, on the, the people that are um, living in our communities. There's certainly a lot of attention on the church in the public square in this moment and uh, encouraging voting. Um, and that's, you know, the, the central topic for us today. Uh, but having that, um, putting that in the context of uh, the ongoing work of the church is just, I think, very helpful and critical. And, and we hope that um, as we build, you know, the church's work and um, and voter engagement, election engagement this fall, that we can carry some of that momentum into the year round pieces of advocacy um, that our office does and leads to the fiscal public policy network that uh, dioceses do, that uh, local fiscal organizations do at the state and local levels. The name of these refugees help all refugees. That's what I mean by that, that the tradition of our faith actually gives us the leg to stand on with integrity. And, and without being partisan, it may have implications, but it really does. Um, that's what I mean by biblical preaching. I don't mean preaching at folk or anything like that. Um, but let, let the word speak. Let Jesus have a word.